<laughs> it's not just the White House that is running on empty. The entire government is drastically understaffed. Each incoming president has about 4,000, something like that, thousands of political positions to fill. And so far, only about half of them have been filled by the Trump administration. It doesn't help that their Craigslist ad says, sinking ship seeks rats. <laughs> but there are, there are people looking for a job. Rats. Let's hear it for rats. Yeah, they're trying to get them. But there are a few diehards out there who believe we should have a federal government. Like the folks at the Partnership for Public Service. They're a nonprofit organization that works with federal agencies to help fill vacant jobs. Well, I recently traveled to Washington, D.C. to speak with their president and CEO, Max Steyer, about Trump's skeleton crew. Mr. Steyer, thank you for talking to me today. Thank you so much. So your job is to help the Trump administration fill these vacant jobs. Correct. When a new administration comes in, how yes. many positions are there to fill? We track about 630 that we see as the most important that are responsible for running really large chunks of the government. You know, the Secretary of the Interior, uh, the head of the Census Bureau, the, um, you know, the Secretary of the Army. How many have been appointed so far? Uh, there are only about 250 in which you actually have uh, someone been selected by the president and confirmed by the Senate. So about 400 of these really important positions unfilled? Correct. Okay. Now, do you see the government as half empty or half full? I see it as... Do you want to take a moment to think about that? No, I don't don't, don't need a moment. Because an optimist sees the government as half full, a pessimist sees the government as half empty, and an anarchist says, why is there a glass? Right. We don't need a glass. I think the real... That's just people trying to control our water. The real optimist would say... putting fluoride in it. Yes, well, fluoride's good. It's good for your teeth. Oh, is it? Yes. You know, that's yeah. a government plot yeah. well, to that's, increase our sperm count. That, that's, well, I'm not sure about that latter point, but it's a good government plot. Okay, good. Now, how many of these job vacancies are in the deep state? No such thing as a deep state. None of those positions are filled right now? None of those positions are filled because it doesn't exist. What are some of the more troubling posts that aren't filled uh, by a qualified candidate? We have no ambassador in South Korea, and we are in a very scary situation, obviously. We have Dennis there. Rodman, though. Uh, we have Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Um, I, would I, be, wouldn't. I, I, would, I, I wouldn't. I would be happier. The man's yes. so dangerous in the paint. Yes. I would be happier, however, with a uh, foreign service officer or somebody mm-hmm. who really understands the... Uh, geopolitical issues there. Is the military filled? All military positions, like all leadership, Pentagon? At the Defense Department, nope. There are openings at the Defense Department, too. Really? Yes. Yeah. I look great in a uniform. You don't get the military uniform if you're coming in as a political appointee. But you could wear one if you wanted. Uh, it's possible, but I don't okay. know how people would, have, would respond to that. Mm-hmm. But, but what you do do is you are actually in charge of the military. All right. Because that's part of our system, is to have you know, civilians responsible. I want to point out that you just said doo-doo. Did I? Yeah, we'll let it that out. All right, thank you. I we'll appreciate that. that. Out. Anything good open at NASA? Uh, there's still no um, head of NASA, no administrator for NASA. So if you want How to run the show. How important is that job? You know, these are all important jobs. So well, let me just be the devil's advocate here for a moment. Okay. Uh, if they were know, really important, they'd be filled because uh, the government still exists. I would say that. Government still exists and these jobs aren't filled. Correct. So ipso facto, I don't know what that phrase means. There's not an agency that you could name that is fully filled. How does one apply for one of these jobs? Let's say if I wanted to be head of NASA or an ambassador or something, where do I, where do I send my resume? Do I just wrap it around a cheeseburger and throw it over the wall at the White House? Uh, what, what do I don't do? don't think that's going to get you very far. There would be a vetting process that would occur. How harsh is this vetting process? It's harsh. So, and it's also... Is there it's, a spanking machine? Um, not that kind of harsh. Okay. Could you vet me? Sure. And understand, just the road you're on is a long, nasty, brutish one. If I have anything in my past, should I get in front of it right now? Yes. When I was 17, I beat a sea turtle to death with a flashlight. But in my defense, I was high and I thought he was a monster. Okay, I think we could end this right here. What? I think you don't. Well, what if I'm not further. like Department of Sea Turtles? What if I'm just I something dumb? I think that this sort of violates one of the core foundational issues here, which is, have you done something that could embarrass this administration? And I would say that counts. Okay, maybe. Have you seen this administration? 
I think it's that very hard we, to embarrass. I think we should hold our standards. Here. Okay, let's just say that that didn't happen. Let's okay. just say for all right, for, it's, but for, for just for schnicks, let's just say I made that up. Okay. okay. Just to be clear, though, if yep. you lie, you can go to jail. If I had an affair, should I get that out there now? You should get that out there. I had you, an affair, but in my defense, it was not emotional. It was purely physical, and it was with a Cinnabon. Okay. And I told myself I that I wasn't going to. I, I was okay. going to quit I, it. Yeah, okay. I wasn't going to finish it. But then she just. All right. Well, I think warm, you're okay. But but you are correct frosting. that you know the question about how you. Yeah. You, you. This is not a metaphor. I had sex with a Cinnabon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In the Kennedy administration, everybody yes. was having sex with baked goods, and okay. the press kept it quiet. Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental health disorder, and if so, which ones? Diagnosed? Yes, diagnosed. No. no. Yeah, so we're now talking about potential drug use. Okay. Have you smoked marijuana, and when? I have not uh, smoked marijuana <laughs> in the last I seven see. years. I see. I have not. I, I heard the emphasis. Smoked it. I heard the emphasis, yes. Okay. Uh, have you or your spouse declared bankruptcy in the past seven years? That's a question you have to answer? Yeah. Is the president qualified to serve in the federal government? The president doesn't have to answer these questions. Wow. It's good to be the king. One more question. Will you serve at the pleasure of the president? If that means I get to spank him with a magazine, then yes. I'd be happy to pleasure the president. Okay. Well, I was convinced. There should be a federal government. So I headed out to the National Mall with a list of vital but unfilled government positions to vet and instantly assign the jobs to the perfect candidates, which was anyone who would stop and talk to me. First up, Director of National Drug Control Policy. We're looking for the Director of the National Drug Control Policy. Okay. Are you familiar with that position? Uh, vaguely. Are you high right now? No. Okay, well then you got the job. <laughs> that's all, that's it. Okay. How about ambassador to South Korea? Let me ask you some general vetting questions, would you mind? Absolutely. Okay. I don't mind. Will you represent the values, visions, and the policies of President Trump? I would do what was best for the United States of America and its no. people. Then that's a no. That would be a hard no. <laughs> the Energy Department. Hi. 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 Can I give this to you? Can I? No, I would you like to be Assistant Secretary for Nuclear Energy? Sorry, I'm not American. That no, doesn't matter. Next up, administrator for NASA. You know what NASA does? Yes. What do they do? Put shuttles in the air and uh, take people to the moon. Haven't been shuttles for uh, almost 10 years now. There will be. OK. You're in. Dream big. Administrator for the Federal Highway Administration. Complete this. Highway to the moon? Nope. <laughs> future? <laughs> Director of the National Counterterrorism Center. Sean, what happened down here? Actually, I broke my foot playing some soccer on the National Mall. Can you make that sound a little bit more exciting, a little more Jack Ryan? OK. How did you break your leg, Sean? I was actually fighting off Al Qaeda in a bar in DC. You're done. That's it. I got ahead of the Federal Election Commission. Highway to the Danger zone. Zone. You got the job. And director of the U.S. Marshal Service. Is there anything about you that might qualify you to be a marshal? No, not today. Nothing about you at all <clears throat> that says U.S. Marshal. No. I want a bird over Kandahar in 15 minutes. Kandahar. 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 You don't know where Kandahar is? No, I don't. Ticking. That back. 